If you need to wipe all the data off of a drive, you might not be aware that pretty much anybody with data recovery software or follows this channel can often get to that data. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to securely wipe a drive that surpasses even the NSA standards. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on check. As I've explained in my other data recovery videos, when something is deleted on a drive, SSD, anything, it's not wiped, it's just moved to another part of the drive scheduled for overwrite, or in the case of a format, the partitions have been, have been removed, but the data is still there and it's just scheduled for overwrite, so that can be recovered. So how do the governments and militaries of the world, how do they wipe their drives? Well, they actually have standards that actually replace every single sector or every part of the drive with another piece of data, such as zeros. Now, there are many options for wiping drives on the market, and some are even free. But on this channel, I'm expected to be able to stand behind my recommendations so that even an IT professional can present this at a board meeting. In this video, we're going to be using a product by the company BitRacer, who has generously granted me a license for this video. They have several products available, whether you're wiping drives on your computer like we are today, if you need to do mobile wiping and diagnostics, or if you just need to wipe files off of a computer that you're not going to wipe the whole drive of. And also, if you are in a data center or if you have a remote servers, you can wipe drives over the network. The product that we're going to use today is called Drive Eraser. And once you have a license, which you can get this all at the link in description, you'll be have access to their cloud website, which will give you all of the ISO files you need to make. And you can make a bootable ISO with Rufus or Etcher or your, your own preferred software for making bootable uh, flash drives. Once you have your bootable drive, you'll boot from USB. It's based on Arch Linux. At the first boot screen, you're going to see a menu here. You can choose Bit Racer, or you can go down to Safe Mode or you can power off the machine. We're gonna go ahead and boot up BitRazor. And it may take about two to five minutes depending on your machine to finish booting. We're gonna go ahead and skip to the next part. While you're waiting, grab yourself some refreshing Balls. Balls Guaraná energy drinks are great sodas that are actually helpful for you. Provide a nice boost of caffeine that won't give you the jitters and no crash. It's refreshing. Get yourself some balls. This is your main interface in BitRacer. You'll see all of the drives listed here. In this virtual box, we only have one and it's showing the virtual machine. But here you would see C drives or whatever other drives you'll see. You'll see your USB drives, external drives, secondary drives, everything will be listed here. Also, any other drives that you have on USB will also be shown here. Anything that you check is gonna be selected as a drive you're going to wipe. So you want to be very careful at what you select here. Down here, you're gonna see select all. You wanna uncheck that unless you're wiping all of the drives on the system. Very careful. You only want to check the boxes of drives that you're certain you want to wipe because the data will be unrecoverable. Next, you'll choose the erasure method or the standard. We can do with standard zeros, which is going to replace every sector with zeros. We also have pseudo random, which is going to erase most of the data with random data. Pseudo random and zeros is going to replace some of the data with zeros and some of it with random data. And it's going to do it in two passes. Random random zero is going to mix random data with zeros in six passes. DOD standards, of course, with three passes. We also have other DOD standards, seven passes. Russian standard ghost, US Army, NATO, Air Force, even British intelligence. So all of the standards here, and you'll see how many passes they have. That means it's going to go over the whole drive and replace every sector with the data of the standard that you select, that number of passes. So if it's three passes, it's going to do it three times. So obviously, if you do a seven pass erase, it's going to be extremely secure and maybe overkill, but that is the standard for which that organization requires. BitRacer Secure in SSD is particularly nice because a lot of SSDs don't have it built into the firmware where it tells the computer how to securely wipe it. 
so BitRacer has made a proprietary standard for drives that may not have that feature. Firmware-based Disk Array Eraser, this would be used for drives that do have firmware-based mapping where it can tell the computer exactly how to wipe it completely. An example of a drive with firmware-based Eraser would be the 970 EVO Pro from Samsung. NIST 800-88 Clear and Purge are newer standards that you can read more about at BitRacer's website. You might be familiar with the National Institutes of Science and Technology as they provide most of the date and time for a lot of the date and time servers for Windows. Now if you're performing this for a client, you'll need to enter the erasure details for providing a report. First of course you'll enter the customer's name and address. And then the media details where you'll describe exactly what we're wiping. For example, the type of drive. And the destination is going to be destruction because we're going to drill this drive. Technician is me. And then if you have a third person validator or a third party company, you can put their info in here too. All this information will go to a professional report which you can provide the client. You can enter asset details, you can say the particular computer or device that was used to do the wiping, and any custom fields you want for the report. In the report, all of the hardware used for the, de the destruction, the wiping, everything you did, the type of standard you did, will all go into a report. Once you start the wipe process with BitRacer, depending on the speed and the size of the drive, the wiping times may vary. Also, depending on how many times you've selected it to pass, for example, if you selected a one pass, one verify, it might be done in a matter of a couple of hours. However, if you selected a four terabyte drive to take seven passes with four verifies, it might take two days. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can find this product with the link in description. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.